platinum players. They're the butt of every hilariously insulting Rocket League joke and meme. No one wants to be stuck in platinum. Heck, you'd probably rather stay at gold 3 forever than rank up and be lumped in with these degenerates of the game. Okay, maybe that was a little harsh. But really, even though about an entire third of the player base is all in this one rank, you're all super toxic to one another and just can't seem to get along. So today, I'm going to be helping you fly through the platinum ranks and get into diamond with these three tips so that you're not on the receiving end of every what a save, sarcastic nice one, or salty go for it quick chat spam for the rest of forever. Hey everyone, if you could take a quick moment to leave a like and a comment on today's video, I'd really appreciate it because it helps my small channel get recommended to more and more people when you do. Plus, I put a ton of work into this one and would love to see your guys' feedback. Thanks, now enjoy the rest of the video. When you finally climb to the end of Gold 3 and start peeking your little egghead into Platinum, it's time to start learning about proper spacing on the field. Honestly, for most people, spacing is something that still has to be improved upon throughout the entire grind of Supersonic Legend. It's a simple concept, but nailing in the discipline to stay properly spaced takes a long time. Especially since all anyone did up until this point was constantly drive towards the ball as fast as they could and hope for the best. The easiest way to learn how to properly space yourself on the field is to imagine an imaginary grid made of 9 squares on the field. The goal is for everyone on the team to stay within their own square on the grid. Doing so will help to minimize double committing, which if you've seen my 3 golden rules for ranking up video, you'll know that double commits are the number one reason for getting scored on. That's because when two people are occupying the same square of space on the field, an attacker can make one move to beat two defenders, which could either be the entirety of the defense if one person is still rotating out, or at best will leave the last defender in a 1 vs 2 or a 1 vs 3. Besides that, giving your teammates proper space to make a play and actually set you up for a goal is something a lot of Platinum players seem to have a problem with. There's nothing worse than just being about to cut the ball past defenders or flick it over them, and out of nowhere, your teammate tackles the ball out of your possession, giving up the ball and ruining the play. Honestly, on the realest of notes, I'm writing this script right now and watching Platinum gameplay to figure out what tips you guys need, and like, oh my god, this pains me to watch. Please, please take these tips and get the hell out of Platinum as fast as you can. Like holy <sighs> You need to stay patient, stay in your zone, and don't dive at the ball if your teammate's already on it. Stop ball chasing. I know, you're all going to be super excited that I'm making this tip number two. Because no one likes a teammate who doesn't rotate. I remember being around Platinum Rank and just thinking to myself, dude, rotate out. Stop going for everything. Oh my. Honestly, there's probably too much to talk about and try to teach you when it comes to rotating properly for this one video. I plan on dedicating an entire video in the future to solely teaching you how to rotate. The best tip I can give you now, while you're still at Platinum, is don't go for a ball that you're in front of. This will cause a lot of own goals, double commits, and confusion from your teammates. Instead, rotate away from the ball and loop back around in a circular formation so that your teammates can challenge the attacker and then you can be behind them backing them up. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. This goes hand in hand with tip number one, because if you properly rotate and maintain the spacing we talked about earlier, if your teammate gets the ball flicked over them or played past them in any way, you'll be in position to push the ball out of danger or have a free ball to take control of and go on the attack with. Okay, so far we've talked about maintaining proper spacing from your teammates, and a little bit about rotating and looping around the field in a circular formation. The third tip I'm going to give you is going to finalize the circle of life that is a game of Rocket League. Attacking, defending, and then hopefully attacking again. Tip number three is to master the basic attacking mechanics. No, I'm not talking about ceiling shots, flip resets, or double taps. I'm talking about mastering things like flicks, getting powerful clears, and hitting the ball off the corner walls and the backboard for your teammates. I chose tips number 1 and 2 for a reason, because they're the biggest mistakes that I see in Platinum. With that said, if your opponents are not properly spacing and have two people on top of one another, something as simple as banging the ball from your end to the opponents or a simple front flip flick is enough to send the ball over an entire team and give your team an open net to score on. Not only that, but with the ball chasing mentality that most Platinum players have, Hitting the ball off of the corner wall will often fake out an opponent who simply assumes you're going to shoot the ball at the net, and you'll automatically beat one or two players and give your team an attacking advantage. 
Alright my future diamond players, I taught you everything you truly need to get out of platinum. Now go, be free, and ride your way up to diamond. In the meantime, be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss the next video you'll be needing to see in order to keep ranking up, which will be my tips on how to get out of diamond and into the infamous champion ranks. Hey guys, thanks for making it to the end of the video. Really quick, I need to give a quick shout out to my Twitch subscribers, especially AKA Flips, who's coming up on one year of being a Twitch subscriber. This guy's been a huge help in my journey of growing. He's been a Twitch moderator, a Twitch subscriber for like a, almost an entire year now. He's an admin in my Discord channel. This guy helps me out tremendously and I could not be where I'm at now without the help of flips definitely appreciate you and thank you to everyone else who subscribed to me on my twitch channel and to everyone who comes to my streams on a daily basis whenever i go live hums revin flips sweezy grizzly leafy dark and kanzi and everybody else thank you guys so much for all the support and everyone who's new to the channel and new to the twitch stream make sure you go and follow me on twitch i want to see you guys there i stream monday wednesday and friday and i'm giving myself a shameless plug right now because i want to grow the community i want to grow our youtube grow our twitch grow our instagram grow everything so that i can get closer to my goal of becoming a full-time content creator because i love creating content and i love hanging out with you guys playing games and just just really using my platform as a way to make your guys' day better as a way to make my own day better my life better and do the things that i love to do for the rest of my life all right without further ado i'll see you guys in the next video peace